Well, for the last decade, Professional Bowlers Association made a yearly stop in Medford, but it's been almost five years since fans in Southern Oregon have been able to see world-class bowlers in person. That is until this week. Today was the final day of the PBA 50 event, the tour for bowlers 50 or older at Caveman Bowl in Grants Pass. Today was the match play round. It started with 24 bowlers competing in a single elimination tournament with a field that included three Hall of Famers and even more former PBA Tour champions. If getting the chance to see some of the top bowlers in the sport wasn't enough for fans, they've been able to come to the bowling alley all week for free to get an experience that fans in other sports don't get. They can get closer to these players than probably in any other sport. Uh, and these guys are pretty congenial, they're nice people, and uh, you know, when they're done bowling, they'll be happy to talk to the fans. It's, it's a real honor just to be able to come down there and just walk in and to visit and watch them bowl, and they're great bowlers. I wish they were here more often, but this is a start. The championship was played this evening with Mike Dias taking on Hall of Famer Dale Eagle. Dias bowled strikes in his first four frames and hung on to beat Eagle 229 to 224 for the Grants Pass Open Championship. It was Dias' second career win on the PBA 50 Tour. Tomorrow at 6.30, we'll talk about Kevin Croucher's tournament experience. Croucher owns Caveman Bowl and helped bring this event to Oregon while competing in the tournament and advanced all the way to the round of 16. Major League Baseball Seattle Mariners.